What up? This light is so bright. What up, Jules and Jens? I am looking crazy. I don't know if my thing is blurry. I am back to do another haul. Yes. So I'm doing a haul of all the Black Friday stuff that I bought in my previous video I talked to, talked about. I'm going to actually put on these clothes, try them on, and let you guys see them. So without further ado, let's get into my video. All right. All right, so I'm reviewing two pieces of clothes at once. Because I can't do voiceovers right now with my editing software, I'm just going to talk into the camera when I do these. So basically, I have this top from Cotton On, and I got it for $5, $5.30 with tax. Black Friday sale. This is the top. The material is really soft. I'm going to get up close so you guys can kind of see this lining on this. It's very silky, actually. Kind of stretchy material. Not see-through as much. You can kind of see the lining, but that's pretty much it. And then down here, we have these pants I got from... Papaya is starting to become one of my favorite stores. If you guys not have not realized, I'm always reviewing papaya. So these are just kind of like some business pants. Very classy. They're, they're um, let me show you guys. So but basically at the bottom, they flare out like uh, bell-bottom jeans. But they're very loose. They don't gather up too much on the crotch area. These nice little pockets, I'm enjoying. And then there's like this little belt. As you can see, it's a, it's a fake belt. It stops right here, and you can just tie it to be cute and, and, and sassy and businessy. I really like these. These pants were, let me find out, for the so called Black Friday sale. These pants were 10% off, and they were only 8 10 which it's really not that big of a deal. Yep. So this is the first piece that I put together. Cotton on and papaya. Boop. Oh yeah, I didn't get you guys gotta get a butt shot. Uh, uh. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, next close. Okay. So I'm back with another papaya piece. This piece was six dollars and ten cent with tax black friday sale it is a jumper size one piece in the back it looks like this hold on let's move this the back looks like that it's kind of gathered up in a ball and the back is supposed to be out however i just kept the bra on that i had on the last piece and the bottoms are tight down to the foot there they don't open up at the bottom and this is a uh, beige and black let me come up closer. You kind of can see. Again, you can see the back. So you kind of know how it is. It's very tight on the butt and the legs. I don't like that as much, but it's okay. I'll live. Um, you kind of see my bun, my bun buns. I don't know if you guys can tell. While I have this on, I might as well do. Oh, wrong way. My favorite 21 accessories that I got. These are $7, but it was 30% off Black Friday. So I never, I've been one of these, but I didn't want to pay $7. So I went back on Black Friday and I got my Diara shades. I look a, I look a mess right now because my hair not done, but my Diara shades. Yes, honey. Get into these. These look just like the ones that Diara be wearing. Yes. They're not fashion over, but they know me. <laughs> those are those. And before we get into our next one, we have a hefty bag. A hefty bag of Forever 21 pieces. So let's get into that one. Let's get into, let's get into Forever 21. Oops. Okay, so first we have... um. The whole store was 30% off, so this tank top was actually $3.10, something like that. But, of course, at the discount, probably like $2.10 or something. I don't know. But, oh yeah, get into my nails, y'all. Get into my nails. These are my new nail color. Green, off green. 
yes feet match but um yes so this is what i'm actually showing you guys don't mind these cycling shorts i got these and reviewed these a while back from worth it five dollars but i don't know 250 two for five individually they're five dollars but this is how the back looks just a basic tank top just thought i'd get it in case i ever needed it don't want something for a business looking throw a jacket on top of it covers my boobs and it's a nice little mustard green i mean what a mustard yellow so i had to get into it yep that's it all right i'm back and this is another outfit i bought i tried to buy outfits for black friday because a lot of time i buy pieces one one little shirt one little skirt one little pants and then when i buy it and i realize i don't have anything to go with these things for black friday i wanted to make use of the money that i was spending because i really spent money i wasn't supposed to be spending but we all do that so i found this sort of outfit that i actually will be wearing this week to do a presentation that i have and it is let me come up close if you guys can't really see so basically the top is two separate pieces and there's two different long um strings and what you do you just cross one over cross one over you tie it behind your back and then you tie it in the front so i'll turn around and kind of see where in the back i have it tied over and then i made a little bow in the front and this shirt was i don't know how much this shirt was my receipt so this shirt was this shirt was it was, it was, oh, girl, this was expensive. This was 11.13 with the 30% off. Ooh. But, yes, this was 11.13. It is an extra large, so it kind of droops over my hands. Tried to find a large, however, there was no more. Of course not. Um, I'll live. It's, it's fine. I don't really care. Um, and then these pants were actually 13.90. Yep, $13.93 with the 30% off. And there is a cute little zipper in the front. If it actually works, I don't even know why you would want to unzip this. But I digress. Um, They have the bell bottom look. And it flares open at the bottom. They don't hover over my feet like the other pants. Um, The thick shorts, I mean the thick pants that we've been wearing lately. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. Those, they don't hover too low over my feet, but they do sit on the ground, so be conscientious. This is a medium. I wanted to get a large. However, I felt like this was a perfect fit for me because they're soft and they're not as um, rough. Like, they kind of scratch a little bit, so it wasn't too tight. I just felt like it looked good on me. And you're going to see pictures of me wearing this sometime this week on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my handle is pink underscore evolution and my avi is just flowers and a pink backdrop of the flowers that's your girl the business woman and you can just see my bum bum looks nice and snatch yeah this is kind of really a good design oh my white you can kind of see it this is how they really look but yes this is my full outfit for almost 25 dollars next piece okay so we're wrapping up into some of the last pieces this is a dress that i got from again forever 21 um it's supposed to be like a nice little flowy dress there's a little slit in the middle where you can cover your your fanny and it goes around to the back so you can't really see through it these buttons i still have not buttoned them up however it's supposed to give you like a nice little cuffed look so i um, don't it's really supposed to look like this. Right now, it look like this. That's fine. Um, nice little cleavage. Nothing, you know, nothing serious. No clavicles out right now. Um, oh, yes, I forgot to tell you. There's a little tie right here that comes with the belt. You can tie it to the side. You can tie it to the front. It don't really matter. You can tie it to the back if that's how you're feeling. I felt like tying it right here. This is going to stay there, too. I'll probably end up wearing this next week. And it's pretty long. I think I look adorable in this dress. It gives me like a very wholesome, very church girl, very Sunday-esque beach vibe. So, yeah. This one was how much? Let's find out. 
believe this was 20 yeah this was 20 dollars even with the black friday sale i was really not going to buy this one because it made me cry and then when i do wait let me see when i do like this i look pretty anyways um the this is like really tight so i'm thinking about just cutting it off altogether. i don't know i'm going to give it a test run to see how it is when I actually wear it. If it's too much going on, I'll just cut it off. I don't have the time for that. So, this is my $20 Forever 21 dress. Oop, last piece. All right. Last but not least, I have another dress from Forever 21. And it has this two scrap yellow thing down the yellow line down the side. Uh, kind of a small turtleneck, not a really something simple if I had a few hickeys I could cover them up if they were low um full arms this is surprisingly very very thick material um not worried about the sun catching my ass cheeks and everybody seeing them when I walk past this is a very thick dress it is quite short underneath it kind of catches my butt what can I say about this one I love it I I'm tired it took a lot of work putting this on because it's so thick it's not that it's stretchy but it's not that stretchy so it's it's a it's a tiny workout it's a small workout it was 14.50 but it ended up being 11 something my friend bought it for me because he thought i was spending too much money so he went ahead and bought it for me so yeah i didn't even pay for this one but it's, it has me sweating i am sweating but i want to get into my final thoughts give me one second Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts about this Black Friday sale. There was not really sales. 30% off is nothing because this this just I spent $51 for four items. That's terrible. That's terrible on the Black Friday. On a regular week, that's understandable, but I'm the type of girl who really works for a bargain, who wants sales, 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 and I spend less money on a regular shopping trip than I spent on Black Friday. So I really was not that satisfied with the clothes. I was extremely satisfied. I felt like maybe I got my bang for my buck considering it was Forever 21. Cause sometimes people treat Forever 21 like Fashion Nova. So I kind of get it. I kind of understand it. I don't really want to look into the camera because I look a mess. However, I'm not going Black Friday shopping next year unless somebody sponsored me. Hello, favorite 21. I'm here. Um, yes, other than that, I enjoyed papaya. I enjoyed cotton on, even though they didn't have much of anything in there. And then, of course, Forever 21. These were my major stores. Um, that's really it. Until my next video, you know, see you later, Jewel. <laughs> I had fun. I spent too much money. And now it's time for me to edit this video. I've done all my homework, well, majority of my homework, 95%. So I'm just going to head out. I will see you guys in my next video, which hopefully will be a hair review from two different companies. I'm waiting for my hair to come in, and I will have a hair review joint for you girls out there looking to buy kinky, curly, Peruvian hair. You heard that? Peruvian. Peruvian. Not Brazilian. Not Malaysian. Peruvian kinky curly it's supposed to be coming in the mail sometime this week I'm going to get it installed into a wig and I will review that bad boy for y'all okay all right so again until next time Jules peace out